Spanish rice is basically the rice and some sort of tomato stuff and some chili powder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some canned stewed tomatoes is what we're gonna do. So if I have some canned stewed tomatoes. Hmm? You can talk if one can you talk? No, I said should I duck? I was oh, duck. get thrown. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. And can you grab me a can opener? <laughs> okay, so the thing that has a can opener motif to it. Would you like to try this? Whatever you think. There you go. Well, I don't know. We don't know. I can I can try it. Okay, you know how it's good. A little different than hey, can I have some can of chicken stock, please? <laughs> You're great. I'm, I'm okay. Not you have such technique for this. You've done it before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Come on, you can't get it off. Come on, you can do it. Maybe we push the button. It had that button motif. I'm and then we have a trash can right down there. Oh, awesome. And if you want to lose it. And we're just going to dump this juice and all into our crock pot, which we've already put the rice in there because we've already demonstrated oh, many nice times. Steaming. It's already peaked, so you Ooh. have some kind of... It's chicken stock. I put chicken stock oh, in there. Okay. And if you want to go ahead and stir that up, you can... Now, the thing is, one of the great things about Spanish rice, which is... Really nice to be nice. Right there on the wall. <laughs> is <it>. that <laughs> if you have leftover vegetables in your refrigerator, you can just take your leftovers and you can toss it right in there. So, let's see. What do we have over there? Hopefully some corn. Oh, peas. Peas. Let's get some peas. That's fine. And then we're going to throw some can of chicken stock in there. Because this is going to be on a slow cooker, so we want a lot of moisture in there. And now let's get some butter. Get some butter. Butter. And we're going to use one tablespoon of butter. And we're going to use the patented grill dog measuring technique to measure one tablespoon of butter. And do you know what the patented grill dog measuring technique is? Well, it's... Well, no, it's more than one tablespoon. But we actually use the patented grill dog measuring device, which is actually... But if you didn't have the patented grill talk device, it's right there on the package. That's true too. It tells you right there. <laughs> you might as well put this over here. I'm actually going to strain the pea juice out here. <laughs> did I just say pea juice? Yeah, you did. Okay, there we go. We're going to get all the pea juice out there. <laughs> you might have a hard time looking. <laughs> okay, what well, happens on my show stays on the internet. Okay, here we go, right there. Let's over here. Okay, now after that, now we're going with the chili powder. You could have caught it. I'm worried a little bit. You want to try to catch one? No, I'm good. You could? Okay. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to do two teaspoons of chili powder. And you really, if you're going to make Spanish rice, you really want to make it a day or two in advance because you want all these nice flavors for my hand. Oh, you got it? Thanks. Okay. She's got yeah. nails. I'm back to the girl. <laughs> you're safe. Okay. And we're going to put like two teaspoons of the chili powder in here. That's good. Okay. And now we'll get this back to Jesus. And now what we're going to do is um, garlic salt. You have garlic salt? I used to play a lot of softball. Really? You want to go? I'd love I can handle I have a tough job here today. You can handle more of your you molly tax very well. I can. Okay, now we can make it salty if you want. Now remember chicken stock or chicken broth may be salty already, so you don't want to make it too salty. You want to toss this back to Jesus? I can't. Okay. Over and around. However you feel comfortable. <laughs> there you go, good shot. Sign her up. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is this, uh, some cumin. Actually, that's not the last thing we're going to do. There we go. Yeah. There you go. All right. And let's see here. We have anything else over there? Basil. Basil. Oh. <laughs> and actually, you can put oregano in here, but you can put basil in here, whatever you want. It's just a flavor. Basil's good. 